production of jammy size, like Azar, can actually be done in less than 20 minutes by following simple procedure or steps. And the beautiful part is, the chemicals required are readily available and also come very cheap. In today's video, you will learn how to produce jammy size like the popular Isaac and at the comfort of your home. Before we ride on, it's important to understand what jammy size actually are and their importance. Jammy size are substances or agents that are used to kill or inhibit the growth of microorganisms including bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa. They are typically used to disinfect surfaces, objects, or fluids in order to prevent the spread of infectious diseases. So, if you really care about your health and that of your family, then it's important to always disinfect your surroundings with germicides like Isaac. This is the more reason you need to learn how to produce germicides and keep them handy at home. Also, if you are a small or medium business owner who wishes to go into commercial production, then this video is also for you because the product sells very fast in the market, especially now that almost everyone is conscious about staying healthy. Good day viewers and esteemed subscribers. If you are new to this channel, this is a place where we bring you loads of information and resources on entrepreneurship development. Our channel is essentially designed to inculcate entrepreneurial skills, acumen and their continuous development and self-employment. So, you should consider subscribing after watching this video. This will help you to stay updated each time we post new videos like this. This video tutorial will be on the production of 10 liters of germicide. Let's quickly familiarize ourselves with the chemicals used and their respective functions. The texapon is an essential component of our production. It serves as an emulsifier and helps to keep the chemical mixture together without separating into immiscible constituents. This means that it helps to prevent the liquids, which ordinarily would not mix, from separating. So, adding text upon will contribute to making the product mixture stay stabilized. Phenol is an antimicrobial agent and it's added to the Jamisar product to help inhibit the growth of bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms. It is also used as a disinfectant in various industrial and healthcare settings. It can kill a wide range of microorganisms, including bacteria, viruses, and making it useful for disinfecting surfaces, instruments, and equipment. The pine oil. Pine oil is often used as a natural cleaning agent and a disinfectant. Its antimicrobial properties make it effective in killing bacteria and viruses, making it suitable for sanitizing surfaces in homes, offices, and public spaces. In our production today, it functions as a disinfectant and a germicide, which helps to kill bacteria and other harmful microorganisms. The Lysol the Lysol is known for its antimicrobial properties. It is very effective against a wide range of bacteria, viruses, and fungi. It is also a very strong germicide. Carbolic Acid Carbolic Acid has so many use cases due to its properties as antimicrobial agent and disinfectant. It is very effective in killing germs and other bacteria. The Binder also known as whitener. The binder acts as a binding agent, ensuring that various components of the germicide remain well mixed and stable and do not separate or settle over time. It also helps to improve the consistency and texture of the product, allowing it to be easily applied or dispensed. More so, the binder creates a whitening effect which gives the product that characteristic white color. 
number 7, the Isaiah booster. This functions to boost the properties of other chemicals used in the production, as well as to enhance the effectiveness of the germicide solution. Isaac concentrates. This is another active agent in the germicide, a very poisonous acidic compound and must be handled with care. It kills germs and other bacteria on contact. Menthol Menthol is known for its very strong and pleasant mint flavor or smell. In the production of our germicides, it contributes to making the smell diffuse or spread into the surrounding air. It is also a powerful disinfectant. Formulation Here is the formulation for 10 liters production. Dexapon 125 grams, phenol 250 mils, pine oil 250 mils, Carbolic 250 mils, Lysol 250 mils, Isaac Booster 500 mils, Isaac Concentrate 500 mils, Binder 500 mils, Menthol 2 teaspoon, Clean Water 6.5 liters. For this kind of production, you will need some basic equipment like a mixing board, plastic funnels, plastic stirrer, measurement beakers, and a pair of scissors. The need for safety when dealing with chemicals cannot be overemphasized. Here are some of the safety precautions to help you stay safe. It is essential to use personal protective equipment when dealing with chemicals. This includes wearing a face shield, nose masks, safety goggles, and disposable rubber gloves. Keep first aid box nearby for any emergencies. Avoid conducting production near open flames or naked fire, as the chemicals used are highly flammable hydrocarbons. Never taste or directly smell any chemical, regardless of how tempting it may be. All production should take place in a well-ventilated room with good illumination. Keep all chemicals out of reach of children or any pets. If a chemical spills on your skin, promptly rinse off under running water and seek medical assistance if you experience any irritation. In the case of accidental chemical ingestion, seek immediate medical help. Individuals with asthma or respiratory issues are advised not to work with these chemicals. Procedure this would be broken down into steps for easy comprehension. Step number one, measure out six and a half liters of water. This will be the total volume of water required for the production of our germicide. Now measure out four liters and pour into the main mixing bucket. Keep the remaining two and a half liters aside for later use. Step number two, add the text upon into the main mixing bucket containing the four liters of water. Stir properly until it is completely dissolved in the water. Please ensure you mix properly to avoid lungs formation in the product. Patience is required here. Kindly take this moment to subscribe to our channel, please. Don't forget to leave us a comment, just say something positive. Give us a thumbs up to help the video to rank on YouTube. Step number 3 
carefully add the phenols to the mixture in the bucket. Stir them together until they become well mixed. Step number 4 Add the Lysol liquid next and continuously stir until it mixes well with the other chemicals. Step number 5. Gently pour the carbolic acid into the mixture and keep stirring so that it combines well with the other ingredients. Step number 6. Add the menthol into the pine oil and gently stir until the menthol is completely dissolved in the pine oil. Then pour the entire content into the main mixing bucket and keep stirring. Step number 8. Pour next the Isaac concentrate and continue to stir. Step number 9. Now, pour your binder into the mixture and stir very well. 
At this point, the total mixture in the mixing bucket should be around 7.5 liters. Finally, pour the remaining 2.5 liters of water you initially kept aside. The total volume of the mixture should now be around 10 liters. Stir this very well and cover it. Allow for 10 minutes or more for proper reaction to take place. You can now package your products in airtight containers and store in a cool and dry place. Remember to keep away from children and other pets. If you have found this video helpful, kindly leave us a like. We have some ebooks and other helpful resources for you to download. The download link is in the video description. If you have followed this far, we want to appreciate you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This will help you to stay updated each time we post new videos like this. Let me check. Listen, listen, I call. I call come up more. How many practical you want to? No, Are the two one. you want to? Uh, no, no, uh, no. It's okay, huh? it's okay if you don't. Thank <laughs> you.